Ja, zou gewoon gek. Ja. So according to the first question, according to Imam Raghib and other scholars, what is the indication that we have started to get to know ourselves? And how do we distinguish between knowing ourselves and being delusional? <laughs> Very good question. So there's a story of, from the Zen tradition that will help here. Um, there, there was a famous Zen master who was considered to be enlightened. And so he came to this temple and there's all these Buddhists, they'd been there doing their sazen for decades. And, and all he said was, there's no such thing as enlightenment. So they all left, except for one. And he said, aren't you gonna go with your friends? He said, no, I'm still thinking about what you said, because here I, I, I've been thinking all these years that I was enlightened, and now I'm wondering if it was just early onset of senility. So the point of that is that delusion is a big problem. And uh, we're, we delude ourselves very easily. So hurur uh, is something that Allah warns us about. One of the best ways to, uh, to help in that is to have good companionship because people, a true friend is going to help you uh, s with your shortcomings. Um, I mean, I, you know, I think all of us in al insana ala nafsi basira wa al qama human beings are, really are aware of of themselves if they're really honest with themselves so it's just I think it takes a level of courage to kind of admit but I think a lot of people do know their shortcomings and and uh but there are blind spots arrogance is one of them arrogance is like high blood pressure it's just a kind of hidden disease and a lot of people are unaware that they're arrogant. A lot of people are unaware that they're envious. So those are things that traditionally you had sahba for that. You had a sheikh uh, who would help you. You basiruka bi uyubika yashabu sheikhan arif al masarik yaqihi tatariqihi al maharik yudkuru Allah idha ra'ahu wa yusil al abdi ila mawlahu. Right? Yujahidu nafsil li rabb al aramin wa yatahalla bi maqamat al yaqeen. I mean, though, though, that was the tradition, that you, you really needed um, people to help you with that. And that was the idea of having uh, spiritual companionship that would help you uh, see the faults in yourself. But that can be done with good uh, sahba, because people can help. Imam Shafi'i, somebody asked him how he got such good character, and he said, I listened to my detractors and I took their criticism seriously. So don't just assume if somebody says, yeah, I think you're arrogant. Don't just assume that they're, it's not true. I mean, think about it. You know, people, it's hard to look at the self. I mean, he talked about that earlier, about self-love, that الحب uh, love blinds, and we love ourselves. We have to love ourselves. Uh, Allah has created us um, with, with, with this idea. But when, when that love becomes inordinate, then it becomes narcissism. And narcissistic personality disorder is, is well, well studied. Um, so, and there are people with these disorders that are very problematic. Um, but I think they all, there's no disease, whether it's mental, psychological, spiritual, physical, there's no disease that doesn't have a cure. There's no disease. Prophet ﷺ said, There's no disease except. Allah has sent down a cure. So whatever troubles or struggles that one is having, don't despair from the grace of God because there's always, there's always uh, grace and there's always the possibility. So I, I think uh, that, that's, that's the, you know, the best that I can do with that one is that we have to be vigilant about that because we really can delude ourselves. We have to... You don't want to get to the point where you you become completely stifled and almost frozen with uh, the inability to act because you're constantly questioning and checking your intentions and your actions. There's people that do that, and that itself can be very dangerous, where you're just, oh, is my niya sound, isn't it? 
tawakkal ala Allah. You know, trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do your best, make tawbah, ask Allah to, to yubasiruka, to give you openings. Uh, Sidi Ahmed Zarruq says that prayer on the Prophet is one of the best things for tahdeeb uh, al-nafs, to help with the, um, with the uh, polishing of the self, is, is prayer on the Prophet I And mean, if you do a lot of prayer on the Prophet, is one of the few dhikrs, it's over the counter, it will not harm you. It won't harm you. Some of, some of the other dhikrs can be very strong, um, but prayer on the Prophet will only be beneficial.